suspect is shot and killed following a standoff in Clackamas County. What started as a domestic dispute between two married people ends with an officer involved shooting. Welcome to Quinn 6 News at noon. I'm Jenny Hansen. Now, we first told you about the shooting south of Malala this morning on Quinn 6 News. Well, police tell us they found several weapons inside that home after the standoff. And this afternoon, we're told they are slowly getting a clearer picture of what happened when a man with a gun suddenly walked out of his home. Brent Weisberg has more on this developing story. Investigators tell me that the shooting appears to have happened just outside of the garage where you see that SWAT vehicle. They say the investigation could take days. Inside this home about two miles from Mawala, a man died as police tried to help him following reports of a domestic disturbance. We were making contact via phone and text message with the suspect. The situation started around 10 o'clock last night when deputies were called out to the home of 36-year-old Shane Griffin. The wife had told us that he was armed. Deputies tell me they had probable cause to arrest Shane on charges of domestic abuse. His wife and their two kids broke out and called 911, but Shane stayed inside the home. He uh, did not want to cooperate with our negotiators. Around 2 this morning, just moments after the SWAT team arrived, officials say Shane exited the home armed with a weapon. Deputies can't say if Shane shot himself or if it was the SWAT officer's round that killed him. We're still early into the investigation and we don't have any of that information yet. The medical examiner will make that final determination. It's taken us uh, you know, quite a bit of time to do this investigation and we still have hours, if not days, left and part of that investigation includes checking to see if there were any potential warning signs. Well, the sheriff's office tells me that domestic violence situations like this unfold very quickly. They say if you need help, there are resources out there. We've put a link under our website at coin.com for more information. In Clackamas County, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News.